Today, we will talk about effective duration, definition, formula, example. Effective duration is a measure of risk for bonds with embedded options. It takes into account the fluctuation of expected cash flows as interest rates change. It can be estimated using modified duration if a bond behaves like an option-free bond. When a bond has an embedded feature, it complicates the certainty of cash flows and makes it challenging for investors to determine the bond's rate of return. Effective duration helps in calculating the volatility of interest rates in relation to the yield curve and the expected cash flows from the bond. It calculates the expected price decline of a bond when interest rates rise by 1% and is always lower than the maturity of the bond. The formula for effective duration includes four variables P, P, 1, P, 2, and Y. The complete formula is, effective duration equals, P, 1, P, 2, forward slash, 2x P, 0, x Y. This formula helps in understanding how a bond's price is affected by changes in yield. For example, if an investor purchases a bond for 100% par at a 6% yield, with a 10 basis point change in yield, the bond's price is expected to be $101 with a yield decrease and $99.25 with a yield increase. The effective duration is calculated to be 8.75, indicating that the bond's price is expected to change by 8.75% with a change in yield of 1%. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Effective duration is a measure of risk for bonds with embedded options. 2. Cash flows are uncertain in bonds with embedded options, making it difficult to know the rate of return. 3. The impact on cash flows as interest rates change is measured by effective duration. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.